So Ove Perfumers, um, they are located in Louisiana. It's this little tiny perfume shop that's sort of in the middle of Louisiana, New Orleans, um, to be precise. And when I went on vacation there with my husband last year, we stumbled upon this perfumer. Um, I do, I'd been doing some research as to finding some perfume shops to visit and this popped up so i was like oh perfect let's go so um they are located in new orleans i can't remember the exact location but um if you look it up online you'll find them if you live there i highly recommend you go or if you're close by just pop in it's it's amazing it's like an artisanal little um mom and pop owned place and i think it's been in the family business for over 100 years i lost the cards and so I can't remember the exact details but a lovely lady that owns it was there that day and she had uh, a few strips set out for people to smell and my husband actually ended up picking this one for me so this is called heliotrope and it's a eau de cologne um, she sells perfume formulations eau de parfum and cologne and of course it's all room sprays soaps lotions i think they have candles too it's just so cute and i really want to go back there someday and just pick up a few more of these they're very affordable and of course i was on vacation and i wanted a lot more than just this one bottle but i was like ah i gotta budget myself and um i ended up just getting this one this is heliotrope and so when you look up the notes on Fragrantica, it says heliotrope, vanilla, and spicy notes. Um, this is so strong. It actually performs like a perfume, in my opinion. I get a good day's worth wear out of this, like meaning if I spray it in the morning, I can still smell it in the afternoon when I get home from work. And this is gorgeous. Like if you like Kenzo flower, the original Kenzo in the tall bottle, I think you're gonna love this. This is actually amazing. It's very vanillic and heliotrope is one of my favorite notes in a perfume. I actually own a couple of scents with heliotrope and this is just like a really powdery, pretty scent. Floral, but powdery and as my husband described it when he first smelled it, he's like, it's almost edible. And I was like, yeah, it smells really good. And uh, he chose this, like I said, and he likes those gourmandy scents on me. And this is just a very feminine, pretty, powdery scent. So uh, if you've showered and you put this on, you'll smell extra fresh and clean. It doesn't have a baby powder smell, but it does smell powdery. So I guess the best way to describe it is like a compact makeup smell if that makes sense um a little bit sweeter a little bit more vanillic and it's just those three notes listed which i really loved like it's so simplistic but it's so pretty and well blended and like i said they make everything there from hand soaps to room sprays to diffusers i think they've got lotions and candles um check them out on instagram hove perfumer and that's the name of it there and i just love this brand i'm like oh i wish more people made sense like this just very pretty delicate nothing beastly that'll just you know drown your senses and assault your nose i've had scents like that and i'm like i can't do it it's not for me this this house is amazing and they are i guess artisanal mom and pop i mean it's a family-run business it's historic it's part of the new orleans culture it's part of that downtown there with lots of history you're surrounded by it and it's just so like it's gorgeous it's like a gothic little tiny shop you walk in and the lady's there and i think it's well worth the trip and if you're in that surrounding area do stop by and check them out I think, it, I think that you will like it, especially if you're into scents and perfumes and soaps and things like that. Just stop in and say hi to the lady there. I've forgotten her name. She was so nice. 
but do stop in.